हेलो एंड वेलकम यू बैक टू नेहा चौड़ा पॉलिटेक्निक वीडियो लेक्चर क्लासेस आई एम योर फैकल्टी दीपांकर घोष इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम एंड टुडे इज द लास्ट आर्टिकल ऑफ दिस चैप्टर व्हिच इज नेम एज योर वैक्यूम ब्रेक सो लेट अस स्टार्ट अबाउट द वैक्यूम ब्रेक सो बेसिकली द वैक्यूम ब्रेक्स आर यूज्ड इन रेलवे लोकोमोटिव्स इन रेलवे लोकोमोटिव्स द वैक्यूम ब्रेक्स आर एक्सटेंसिवली यूज्ड फॉर देयर गुड एफिशिएंसी इन ए वैक्यूम ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम एज वी एज यू सी हियर इन दिस वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड गो थ्रू द कंस्ट्रक्शनल पार्ट ऑफ दिस वैक्यूम ब्रेक so as in the figure you can see this one is your adjuster this one is your driver brake valves this these are the interconnector bit pipes that mean vacuum brake pipes here we are having a vacuum reserve here where the vacuum uh, vacuum has been created here that is known as your brake cylinder this one is your ball valve here is the known as brake rigings and these are again coupled to the another bogie this is a diagram of on one wheel only so here we are having a wheel which is made of your uh, steel and we are having a brake block which is in the lower part of this wheel so let us uh, uh, discuss about this these are the constructional part so here for the dummy coupling is extension from uh, this side to the total hole Whole, whole, whole set of this. These are, these are called your adjuster. So let us discuss about the your um, uh, working of this in a vacuum braking system. Uh, depressing the brake pedal upon a valve between the power cylinder, which contains a piston, and the intake manifold to which the power cylinder is connected. Just, uh, just uh, I show in the figure. when we apply the brakes uh, air is exhausted from the uh, from the cylinder head of the piston at the same time atmospheric pressure acts on the rear side of the piston to exert a powerful pull on the rod attached to this piston when the brake valve is closed the chamber ahead of the piston is Shut off from the intake manifold and is opened to the atmosphere. The pressure is in the the same on both sides of the piston. Therefore, no pull is extending upon the pull rod. The brakes are released and the piston returns to its original position in the power cylinder. by the brake shoe returns through the springs this is a extensible diagram of a hydraulic braking system which is trade name for a one unit vacuum this this is for one unit vacuum braking system it combines hydraulic controls valve a vacuum power cylinder and a hydraulic slab cylinder into one assembly this assembly is connected to both of the master cylinder and the wheel cylinder brakes and eliminates the need of mechanical connects with the brake pedal pressure on the brake pedal forces fluid from the master cylinder through the check valve through this so here we are having a adjuster so when the driver apply this brake brake what happened the adjust suck the oil suck the air from this air cylinder so that and uh, throw it to the atmosphere so due to that what happen a breaks uh, a vacuum is created and that vacuum uh, is uh, during this creation of this vacuum what happen this wheel is get locked through the brake block because uh, due to when the when this brake cylinder is moving upward it start to push the brake shoe so that it will get contact with this wheel and when this brake block are contact with this wheel what happen uh, the friction takes place in between the brake block and the wheel and due to this 
and due to this friction the speed of this wheel is finally reduced and uh, and finally stop when this uh, it is reduced and finally stop so this is how the this adjuster uh, suck the air when this is put in the driver cabin so when it the driver uh, operate this brake the adjuster suck the air from this brake cylinder and it throw to the atmosphere so due to that the brake rigings are in contact with the um, put the force so that the brake shoe are in contact with this wheel therefore the friction would be occur and due to that the brakes are applied the main advantages of this braking system is that uh, it will take some time in comparison to the air braking system so the operation is more smoother than the air braking system so that is the reason why this braking system that means the vacuum braking system is extensively used in your uh, railway locomotives and the ne other advantages you can find so it is more cheaper uh, than uh, hydraulic braking system or uh, air assisted hydraulic braking system number two uh, the maintenance cost of this uh, vacuum braking system in comparison to the other braking system is less uh, the the manufacturing cost is also less and the disadvantage is that it will take some time so that uh, to apply the braking system and as per the application is concerned this is extensively used in railway locomotives so this is all about your vacuum braking system uh, thank you and this is the end of this article of chapter number uh, 2 which is name as your braking system thank you all see you in the next unit thank you